वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर वन बेसिक कंसेप्ट इन जियोमेट्री टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू रिवाइज द कंसेप्ट एंड सॉल्व द असाइनमेंट्स ऑफ वर्क बुक सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पेज नंबर सिक्स ऑफ योर वर्क बुक सो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व द असाइनमेंट ऑफ योर वर्क बुक one by one along with solving the questions i am going to explain the concepts or i am going to revise the concept along with the solving of the questions so as you can see question number 1 given over here observe the figure and name the following question means here the figure is given over here we have to follow the figure we have to follow the figure for answering the given question so let's see the first question given over you it's given as group of collinear points like what they are asking in the question they are asking for the collinear points from the given figure so we have to find the collinear points from the given figure so let me revise once again what do you mean by collinear point suppose if i am having a line if i have drawn a line so if i am having more than two points in the, on the same line if there is more than two or three points on the same line then this type of points are known as collinear points suppose i am having point p point q point r on the given same line so your point p your point q your point r is your collinear points so now we have to find the answer from the given figure so can you as you can see your is one line so on this line point a point e point b is lying on this same line so this will be your collinear point again on the second line below it point d point f and point c is also lying on the same line so this will also be your collinear point now as you can see here is also one line going and we can also find same points lying on the same line like point d point o point b is also lying on the same line here also one line is going over here same thing point a point o point c is lying on the same line so you have to keep in your mind that any of the points any two or more than two points if they are lying on the same line then it will be your collinear points so let answers the let us answer the first question as i have written it before for you see point a e b where it is on the line same line is it on the other line no it is lying on the same line that is why it is your collinear point so point a point e point b is your collinear point again point d f c these points are also lying on the same line so these points are also your collinear point same with point d o b they are also lying on the same line so it is also your collinear points again with point a o c they are also lying on your same line that is why it is also your collinear point again we are going to find we are finding again e o f they are also lying on the same line that is why they are also your collinear point so now i have cleared with the concept collinear point once again i am revising it that the points which are lying on the same line or the points more than 2 or 3 lying on the same line is your collinear points now moving ahead with the second question which is your they are asking the point of concurrence of line ac line bd and line ef like what they are asking they are asking for the point of concurrence now before going with point of concurrence you should understand what do you mean by concurrent line suppose if i am having la line l okay again my another line is going intersecting line l and it is named as line n again my third line is intersecting this two line which is my line m 
ओके सो आई एम हैविंग योर थ्री लाइन्स लाइन एल लाइन एम एंड लाइन एन दिस थ्री लाइन्स आर इंटरसेक्टिंग ईच अदर एट वन पॉइंट दिस इज द वन पॉइंट वेर दिस ऑल द थ्री लाइन्स आर इंटरसेक्टिंग ईच अदर एंड इफ आई एम नेमिंग दिस पॉइंट एज ओ देन द पॉइंट वेर द थ्री लाइन्स आर इंटरसेक्टिंग ईच अदर इज नोन एज योर पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्करेंस एंड दिस थ्री लाइन्स आर नोन एज योर कॉन्करेंट लाइन ओके so keep it in your mind that when any of the three lines intersecting each other at one point so this point is known as your point of concurrence and the lines which are intersecting each other is your concurrent line so what answers we are going to get over here now see find out we are finding out the points where all the three lines are intersecting the first line is going here the second line is this one and the third line is this one so all these three lines are intersecting each other at one point and the name of that point is o given over in your given over here in your figure so what we are having our answer as point of occurrence for this question is point o which i have already written over here now moving ahead with the third question is nothing but they are asking for the ray starting from point o so what do you mean by ray ray is nothing but the part of your line suppose if i am having one line over here if this is my line okay starting from point o and moving ahead okay suppose it is moving ahead so ray is nothing but your part of line which is starting from a point o and moving ahead in a straight line indefinitely means it is not having any limit but it will be moving in a straight line and it will not be having any limit okay it will move in a straight line it will not move here or there it will move in a same direction but it will not be having any limit or it will be indefinitely moving ahead so this thing is known as your ray starting from a point and moving ahead in a straight line indefinitely so again i have to answer the qu third question the st ray starting from point o they have already said as the starting point means they are telling your o o is the starting point and asking us to name the rays from the figure so o b is our first ray o e is our second ray o c is our third ray o f is our fourth ray o d is the next one o a is the another one okay but you don't have to write o a o e because before writing o a or o e you have to name it as rays as i have written over here you have to don't den denote it as ray ray o b ray o b ray o d ray o d okay this ray is compulsory before writing the symbol okay because we have to denote it by something otherwise how we can know what it is it is segment or it is line so it is your ray they are asking us for ray so we have to write it as ray o e ray o f ray o a ray o c okay now moving ahead with the fourth question they are asking over here any three points in the figure which are non collinear here they are asking for the non collinear point as i have explained you the first question collinear point what i have said that any mo any points or more than two points which are lying on the same line are known as your collinear point then what will be the opposite of collinear non collinear means that when any of the two or more than two points which are not lying on the same line is your collinear point as i have explained you in the first figure this is this all points are collinear why because they are lying on the same line but if one of the point i have drawn here it is like n will it be collinear no why because it is not lying on the same line it is somewhere else on below uh, uh, somewhere else yeah similarly 
so we have to find the non collinear point from this figure so i have written the answer a f o why because a is on some other line o point o is also on some other line and f is also on some other line they are not on the same line that is why point a f o is non collinear point now moving ahead with the fifth question they are asking here as line segment on line ac and line ab so let me explain you what do you mean by line segment suppose if i am having two distinct point point a and point b when i am joining these two points with the help of ruler now roughly i am showing you explaining you like suppose if i have joined these two points so these two points are having the end points okay now i can't extend this two points ahead because it is having an ending starting point and the ending point so if in this condition this is my line segment but if i will be talking about line if i will be talking about line suppose if i have drawn the line so line ab can be extended because it's line it can be extended from both the side but if we are talking about the line segment it can't be extended it has limit because it has two distinct point the starting point and the ending point and it is denoted as segment ab it is denoted as segment ab okay so here they are asking for the line segment on line ac and line ab so on line ac it is denoted as segment ac and on line ab it is denoted as segment ab thank you